cultural backsliders. We're losing some fame. Oh, great. Thanks for that. Just because I've not what is it? Because I've not been conquering anyone for a few turns. You're all a bit upset. It's like these have lost these settlements again. Um, we can actually take this one while it's uh, not doing much. Finish them off. Kill them. And then that leaves us in a good position. He'll then raid my territory, which is not good. I think he's actually inside my lands. Oh, no, he's not. That's fine. Um, and then whatever he does next turn, he'll probably take the settlement and then I can attack him. Let's get that up. Um, technologies. So we can actually now finish off the recruitment section. We've got this going on here. So let us... Mm, wow, this is quite close. Probably gonna have to attack myself. Um, I don't want to. The balance is in my favour. What kind of settlement we got here? Yeah, we're attacking on a narrow front, aren't we? It's a really good. It's strategically located in a very good spot. A um, lot of rocks. I mean, even if you came in from the coast, where would you land here? Wow. Well, guess we're jumping into battle then. Uh, this is the plan that I've got so far. So I've got two groups. I've got uh, three siege towers over here with one battering ram. And I've basically split. Uh, this, this unit's going to have my main general. Um, we've got basically two mailed fanes. We've got a mailed sea axe. Uh, we've got a long axe, a fried axeman, and two archers. Basically, I've split them in half, best I can do. Uh, the cavalry is out of the game for the time being until I can actually knock down the gates and get inside. And then I've got a second group over here to attack. Because there's only really two positions you can attack from. Here, here, and then if you came from the coast, which would be this direction. Uh, surprisingly, it hasn't got a gate on it, which I guess makes for ease of access. Um, but because I'm not on the coast, it's a bit awkward. So we're just going to have to go in with it like this. Take the wall, take this wall, and then push through. And this is going to be a very long slog because, I mean, when I land on here, it's going to be awkward to see if we can take it. But we'll see. Anyway, battle time.
Now, we took some casualties, so a couple of my units here did take a little beating. Um, but overall, I didn't even have to take the main central location. They just all surrendered as I killed them, which was kind of nice. Plus, my units more or less outmatched theirs in every single way. These are all tier 3 units, where they've only got like a mix of some tier 3s, but mostly tier 1s. But brilliant. Yes, yeah, so this is now under my control. We could liberate it. Um, the island of Orkney, but uh, we're going to occupy and we just need to repair all the buildings that got damaged. I know we want to repair and then change that round uh, once it's done. But overall, that means we've taken this settlement, which is nice. Um, and we can deal with this little rebellion next. Um, and then did we move these units? I'm just trying to remember where we left off. Because the only thing when you jump into battle sometimes is you forget where you was, uh, what you was doing before. <laughs> More piety and prosperity. Nice to see. Uh, excessively defensive, so siege attrition when under siege. Oh, siege attrition time, shall I say, sorry. And we do have a loyalty issue. I think this is because we've taken so many settlements. Which is nice to see. And we do need to convert this into a building which is beneficial to me. Um, I'm going to wait a few more turns for supplies to come up, and then we're going to move down and take this settlement back. I'm actually saying that, I could probably just go along the coast now. And then head away to um, this settlement and this other one. Are they saying that? There's only three or four settlements left. And did the Norse move anywhere? No, they stayed in position. Which is really good to me. So I can kill them. They've uh, fortified themselves in. You can put a knife through his heart. Or in this case, a massive blade. Let's kill all the captives. So he's fallen in battle. We want to take this settlement while we're here. Definitely occupy it. I mean, then we want to repair that building. Uh, which is never too good. And then we can actually take this settlement. We've then more or less taken most of these. I mean, they're not doing too well either. I'm actually saying that. While this is here, let's move my next army. Which isn't really done much. Well, we can actually take the settlement here. And what's, let's have a look at this loyalty issue. What's the problem? Um, probably to do with estates. Always is at this point, um, because I've been going so far north. Um, yeah, low estates. How many have we got? Oh, wow, yeah, I own a fair amount of estates. So let's give him one then. So he's got one agriculture one at the moment. Does it give it a bonus? Yes, it does. So let's give him... Um, look at all these estates that I own. We've got, any, we've got some new ones, haven't we? So let's give him one of these. Indult, uh, indolent by nature. Um, we could crack the whip. Nah, leave him alone. He'll be fine. We don't need to move too far and too fast. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move down this way. This has actually got nice, decent sized public order. And I'm going to head this way. And just so I can actually take these last few settlements. I feel that's a best way to go about it. I'm going to sack the settlement so we're just going to wait it out um and then we're also going to go and take the settlement as well it's going to take a fair few turns to do that though and um, what i'll do i'm going to move to here and then we'll fortify up we need to let a couple of my units recuperate um and then deal with them and then uh, why would they not to the settlement can you please send a unit there i mean you've got all these units just sat around unless they're at peace now which Probably might be an idea. Let's have a look here. Uh, are they at peace? No, they're at war with them. So I don't know why they're not attacking. Could you uh, maybe go for that? No? Screw you then. You know, it's going to be at war with someone when you're not doing anything about it. Actually, no, we don't want that one. Let's get some zeal up. Nicely. Nicely done. Uh, what we got here? Can we increase anything? We can actually get this one. Get the church up to the next level. All my money. Look at it all gone. Spent on the church. <laughs> Sapping all my income. Oh, we lost someone. And there she creeps. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a debuff there. Uh, we've got a new research to complete. Um, and I've got note to really go for. I guess we'll go the systematic raid in. That's not too bad. And then we've also got a new governor. So let's just... Oh no, we don't, there's no point actually increasing this anymore because it's not going to be higher, so let's do this one. Hmm. Okay, so what I've decided to do, I'm going to um, basically skip as many turns as possible um, in the video itself anyway, that you'll see. 
because uh, I want to move my armies to take these settlements quite quickly. So I've got to basically hop, skip, and jump. Um, and then we can potentially finish this off in this session. Because it's like, do you wait around? Um, just each turn and finishing them off? Or do I get in and try and do as much as I can in terms of skipping what I can to take these settlements? Because I feel that's the best way to go about it. I'm trying to think, is there... Yeah, I'd have to go. I'd have to go down this way, and then up and take this. Yeah, because there's not the Norse isn't many left. Like I said, that's the last object I've got to do, um, and I feel it's better to do that for the time being than uh, constantly having turn after turn after turn. Because I do have to edit it all out as well, the uh, per turn in between all the bits and bobs. So I will see you uh, when we've taken most of the last few settlements. Much will be written in recognition of your achievements, your domination of the age. Now, one king rules the thrones of Britannia. All hail the king. All hail indeed. Wow. So that's the ultimate victory completed. Um, that took a long time to um, between cutting um, part of the episode out there. Um, yeah, it was about 40 minutes, you know, it took me to go around mopping up the last bit of the Norse, um, and then in the end, the last settlement that they held got taken by someone else, which is a bit of a shame, but, uh, yeah, wow, that's, uh, it's absolutely been amazing. I mean, just look at all these, just went from 878 to 941, so a good 60 years, 70 years, how many turns did we do? Got 125 regions owned. We owned 26 provinces total. Prosperity is um, moderate. Our fame is the highest it can be. You currently have 706. Faction leader is Toldenbert. Um, our faction leader changed partway through. Uh, what else we got? Current turns 254. Wow. That's a lot of turns. Factions encountered, faction destroyed, vassal kingdoms. Look at that. Total income. <laughs> 4 million. Um, 800,600. Um, 866,966. Wow. And that was the income, the turn um, income at the end. Uh, current income, which is nice. Wow. You know, it's just one of those things completing a game like this, and I've had so much fun. I mean, look at all this. There's so much stuff going off. I uh, probably haven't got enough to go back. There's probably so many pages worth. But yeah, that's, that's kind of cool, and uh, I'm just going to quickly continue. And just quickly go over this, yeah, focus his mind. Uh, all the foreign invaders have limited. This is an ultimate victory. And that's pretty much it. So I can keep going if I wanted to and just conquer the entire British Isles. Um, but yeah, this was the last settlement here, Dunnet. Um, I was actually sending my fleet around to take it, but the uh, these guys kind of conquered them first. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Just the strength, the, the entire length of strength of Britain that I own control different provinces and and things like that. It's just absolutely amazing. And it's nice to see. I'm really, really happy I managed to complete the game. It was one of the ones where it does drag out at the end, as always. Uh, that's generally how, you know, the ultimate victories work. But I've completed every single um, conquest as you got. So I've got a short conquest, long, fight, fame, long and short. We've got the short kingdom victory, long one. Um, and then we've completed the ultimate as well, which is really nice. So I like the idea that they do give you an ultimate objective to more or less go for. Um, I think it is what made it more longer than I think it would have normally is the fact of that the fleets invaded from the south and the north and the fact of that I was on the south coast I had to push all the way up which kind of probably added um, you know probably about 10, 10 or 20 episodes worth to this series so far but I've really enjoyed it and it's been absolutely fantastic um, and yeah that's where I'm going to call it there again I could continue but it just seems a bit once I've done the main objective it just seems tedious at best and i could go through and take every one of these settlements but i mean once i've dealt with the rest of the uh, you know scotland in general there's then you know look how many different settlements there are in ireland to control and it's just oh yeah it just wouldn't be worth it i don't feel i mean it, what makes me laugh is scotland um, or the certain is it cern uh, basically instead of trying to mop up all the issues they had here just kind of marched all the way down took these settlements and then came onto Ireland and started taking settlements and are just like pillaging as they go which is kind of funny uh, yeah wow don't know really what to say else now 
Well, what I am going to say is thank you very much for watching this series. If you do want me to come back to some more Thrones of Britannia in the future, then please, by all means, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any other game suggestions that I should be doing, then again, please let me know. Uh, it's always one of the ones when a game series ends, it's like, what do I want to replace that series with? Or what new games or other um, series, you know, should I go back into? But um, yeah, this has been really fun. It's, you know, if you enjoy Total War games, Thrones of Britannia is worth, I feel, the investment. Um, and it's a shame that since I've been playing this series, there has been a major update that I've not been able to take full advantage of. There's there's quite, you know, there's some which I have, but not many. Uh, but that's just generally how it is. So anyway, what I'm going to say, thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you enjoy what you've seen, then please by all means leave a like, comment down below, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next one. But until then, I'll see you later.